Hey guys, Mike with TV Parts today. Uh, we're gonna be working with a Vizio V436-G1. Uh, this particular unit is having some issues powering on. So we're gonna get inside of this one and see if we can't get it fixed up. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or need to place an order, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get into it. What we wanted to do here is just show you uh, what we're working with here. This particular unit is not coming on at all. We don't, we're, we're not getting any backlights, no standby light. Uh, no sound, nothing, no clicking. Um, so what we're gonna do is just get this opened up and just start swapping out boards. Alrighty guys, uh, what we wanted to do with this is just kinda show you where you're gonna have issues taking the back off of this TV. Once you have all the screws removed, it's all the way around the bezel on the outside and then a handful here and there, you're gonna have a cabling underneath of this housing that's running from these buttons and down along through here that connects to the main board right back here. So when you lift this up, just be very careful. We are going to just lift up a bit on this side and then get it at a good angle to lift it all the way up so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. These two here, they are connected to the back of this housing. You wanna be very careful when you lift this up um, so that way you don't you know, break anything. So with these, you're just gonna pinch down and pull out just to get both of them out of the way. One and two, and that is our housing and we can completely remove it. As with pretty well any kind of uh, repair, you wanna always start with the power supply first if you don't really know what the issue is. Uh, and kind of what we're doing here, we, you don't need any special tools at home to do any of this um, for you to diagnose your set. I mean, you can take the time and you know properly test each one of these boards, but honestly, uh, Cost of the board's not so bad. Uh, so what you can do is just swap them out and whatever works, works. What we're gonna do is start with this power supply. Uh, we've just got one, two clips holding it into place and then we've got some screws going around the outside here. Uh, we're gonna swap that board out and see what we're working with. Pinch down, pull out, pinch down, pull out, and then just remove these screws. And take note, the two screws that go in here on this power plug are longer than the others that go around the outside of it. So just keep that in mind whenever you're sitting these off to the side. Lift this on up. And we just grabbed one of these from out in our warehouse. Alrighty. Make sure everything's lined up. You can see your screw holes here around the outside edge and it kind of fits into place too, so. Here's our second longer screw. And then reconnect your cabling. It's very simple, just slides right back into place and they will click once they are snug. There we go. And let's get some power to this one. Plug in your power cord. And if this works, we should see through these little holes through the back here, the backlights actually come up on it. Um, it. Might take a couple of seconds or so, but we'll see, we'll see. Looks like no such luck. Power supply was good. Looks like both of these are actually set to go. The one that was originally in the set as well as the replacement we used. Uh, this one's not needed. Uh, what we're gonna do is just uh, unplug the power, move over to the main board and try that out. Hopefully we'll get it up and running with that. All right, so first things first with this main board, we're gonna remove these clips. Just gonna pinch down, pull out on both of these two guys here. This is a ribbon cable. Get under it with your fingernail, flip that up, pull that on out. Same thing with this little baby one here, gonna flip up on that one and then very carefully with this one, pull it on out there. And then we've got uh, these two guys here up top. Be very gentle. You should be able to just get up underneath of them one at a time and they should disconnect like so. Just kind of move those out of the way. And then we've got one, two, three, four screws holding this into place. Take note, once you remove these three screws, this entire housing around the uh, edge here is gonna just fall off That'll be just fine, that's what we want. Okay. 
that comes apart like so. Just set that off to the side. This whole board comes up out of here. And let's try this one. Make sure you get everything lined up properly. And just like with that uh, power supply, the screw holes for this will pretty well hold this board in place once you have it on here properly. There we go. Make sure your cables are ready to go. Cool. All right. Uh, we're not going to worry about putting this housing back on here. Uh, we just want to get this thing hooked up, see what's going on with it. So let's start with these screws. And then just reconnect all of your cabling here. And like I'd mentioned before, doing a repair like this is fairly simple on your own. You really don't need to pay anyone to do this for you. Um, I mean, and you don't really need any special tools either unless you kind of just want to do it as a hobby. Honestly, getting boards for uh, your sets these days is relatively cheap. I mean, you can always check out our website. Uh, not to just plug it like that, but to be honest with you, it's pretty simple stuff here. Uh, if one board doesn't do the trick, then you've got a different issue, more than likely at least. So you just go on to the next one. Rule of thumb, start with your power supply if you're not sure. If that doesn't fix it, you get the same result, well, try your main board. All right. I'm gonna double check everything here. Looks like we are all good to go with this one. All right, let's see what she's got. Let's plug in the power. And wait just a few seconds. Oh, yep, they're coming up. You can kind of see these little dots here along the outside edges. Uh, those are lighting up. Looks like we've got backlights, so that's definitely a uh, good sign there. Excellent. Uh, we're just gonna get this button back up, flip it around, and see what the picture looks like. So there we have it. Uh, TV's up and running. Uh, it's pretty exciting stuff, really. And honestly, this technique, you can just use at home for really any kind of TV that you've got, not just a Vizio. Uh, just try swapping out a board. Like I said, they're cheap. Uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Keep in mind, if you do subscribe to the channel, your first order will be uh, qualified for 20% off. Uh, honestly, you have nothing to lose with that. So we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.